tension 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 keep rises each and every single day the royals can't get enough of their sleep up to this particular moment the fact that they've had that omid scoby will soon be removing a book and uh, its title already is really scaring them to death and uh, omid scoby will be removing a book with a title written as endgame this has left them with so much questions this has left them they're terrified they're shivering at the moment wherever they are they can't get enough over they can't stop thinking of what is going to be in that book they can't stop thinking of what omid scoby will be publishing and i fail to understand why are they terrified once you're not guilty about something you're not supposed to be focused on what is going to happen it's a book we are here to read it why are they so much tensed at this particular moment i have an article here and it has her title that states the royalties are already incandescent with rage about omid scobies and uh, game they are they've already shown how terrified and tense they are at this particular moment yesterday remember we were talking about prince william having tried to ban omid scoby from uh, getting involved in royal events that was yesterday and here we are today with also something better about the royals they still can't get enough of it and uh, the article starts and i quote originally omid scoby's new book and gum and i quote inside the royal family and monarchy's fight for survival was supposed to mm. come out this summer this week Scobit announced that it will come out in November. Some of us were concerned that Endgame was being rewritten or buried, but it turns out that Scobby wanted to write new chapters about King Charles's coronation, which happened in May. I get that. The coronation ended up being such a nana event, which in itself is newsworthy. Anyway, you can tell that Endgame is going to be an important book in the royal narrative because the royal establishment has already launched a complete unhinged smear campaign on Scobie, Richard and Part 2, the Daily Mail. These people are already, already, they've already panicked at this particular moment. I know very well they've got a lot of question marks. What exactly is that book going to entail? Those are some of the questions. But if you know very well that you are good enough and that you've done nothing wrong and that you're supposed to be at peace and wait and see the outcome, but you've already shown that you are not comfortable with what is yet to come, that one also raises a lot of question marks. And there's one thing I can say and I'll say it again here, that the royals are currently degrading themselves by how they act by how they handle things at the moment most especially things to do with public matters they are getting out of hand and they are not raising any good PR on themselves rather than they are of let they've been unshaming themselves in one way or another and i continue so that's the talking point that scoby is a sussexer's Chia leader i've also seen that i've also seen somebody who wrote a tweet and say that prince harry and megan are really using omid scoby to dish out some more dirt. anything that happens or anything that evolves there is always that one percent that will always put that thing up to harry and megan even if they are not involved at any particular moment there must be their name mentioned in that thing and this is not right whoever wrote that that was really really bad personally i fail to understand why i know very well that if harry was to say something he would come out and say it if megan was to address something she would also do the same they wouldn't have to use somebody else to pass information to people considering the fact that they know better and they know what to explain with that one i totally disagree what i know very well omid scoby is doing his work as a journalist 
that's what he's doing the same way the uk media the tabloids always trash and just sprout out words and write whatever they think about harry and megan is the same exact way that omid scoby has also a right to do so so one thing i can tell them is that they stay patient and wait for the book november isn't far it will be here by the time we even know it the article continues and that the book's narrative is completely sussex best like if that's true and we know very well it is not then people will even be more likely to pick up the book we know of course majority of us will run to the shop or website and get that book as fast as we can all of the other royal books trashed and banned finding freedom was a huge bestseller and Spare is one of the biggest publishing su success in the year. Clearly, people are interested and in the Sussex narrative. Speaking of Tom Skies at the Daily Beast also got friends of Prince William and King Charles to throw tantrums about Scobid and the Endgame. People are already rubbishing and saying what they want and we are not yet even there. The book is not yet even out. Tension, tension, tension. It keeps rising each and every single day, most especially with the people who are so much involved in the royal family members. As the comments from William's friend hasn't read Spare or watched the Netflix documentary series or read, or read Finding Freedom. Yet, William and Kate have constantly reacted to everything within those projects. Anyway, you can tell that Scobie will receive the full Sussex treatment in the British media and royal media. Buckingham Palace and Kensington Palace are terrified about what stories Scobie will publish. And they are even more terrified that Scobie is going to be more believable than their hagiographers there's nothing i can say but just clap 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 and wish Ovid scoby the best and i personally can't wait to see and read the book with a very very nice title and that is endgame one thing i can say is that they should stop always putting blams on the duke and duchess of sussex i remember the other day we say that the royal media the UK media, the British media at large, together with the tabloids, the haters, the derangers, the royal commentators, they will just have done one big favour and best favour to us if they just put Harry and Meghan's name out of their mouth where they don't belong. Like here, the Sussexes are not involved at any particular moment. We know very well that Omid Scobby is an author and that's what He's doing his writing as a person is passionate as a journalist he's giving out information to people and i personally am so 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 super proud of him and can't wait to read the book i don't know about you and there's also one thing they need to understand scoby is more more believable than the rest of them we know very well simply because scoby has always been fair and fairness gets you a long way and it's why he is more successful and respectable than the rest of them and all those other rotters. Personally, can't wait to read the book and I know very well it's going to be a huge and also a success. I don't know what you think about just kindly leave a comment down below and that was our today's podcast and thank you so much for tuning in. See you guys in our next podcast. Bye.